Hi, in this video we're going to look at the new forms of help that Imaginality Create offers. So in the past Imaginality had two forms of help. It had these yellow bubbles which guided you through the process of creating a module and it also had these tooltips that gave a little bit of help on each specific function. So now we've added these three buttons along the top which take you directly to our Imaginality Create support website. So this offers three different things. It offers help which is help on each feature of Imaginality Create each with a video and supporting module files to download. It offers examples, which showcases examples of some of the fantastic things you can do with Imaginality Create, and offers modules that you can download to take that further. And then there's activities, which are curriculum-based activities designed to be given to students so that they can learn about a topic by creating a module on that topic. And each one comes with a worksheet to support them step by step through the process. So in this video, we're going to look at the help section. And again, this is broken into three sections. The first is a general overview video of Imaginality. The second area is an interactive screenshot of Imaginality where you can actually click on any area that you're interested in and it will take you to all the features related to that area. And the third is a list of all the features and when you click on them it takes you directly to a video that describes how to use that feature, giving a practical example and also providing the module file that was created in that video so that you can download and modify that if you wish. You also have the option to look at the tag cloud of all the different features in Imaginality Create, which will give you a list of all the resources related to that feature. So that's an overview of all the ways that Imaginality Create supports you in creating your own modules.